Today I'm here at Cherry Road Road, home to Farnborough FC for a brand new Around the Ground. As usual, I'll be taking a look through this club's history, exploring the stadium, watching the team take on Braintree Town in the National League South and speaking with manager Spencer Day after the game. Let's go. Farnborough Town were formed in 1967 and their life as a team kicked off amazingly, constantly winning silverware, including the Spartan League three times in a row. During this period, the club went in an incredible 87 games unbeaten at home between 1973 and 1977. Throughout the 80s, the non-league outfit reached the FA Cup first round multiple times. In fact, between 1983 and 1991, they only missed out on a place in the first round just one time. During this period, they were also promoted to the conference. In the 2006-07 season, Farnborough Town went into administration with depths of a million pounds and were expelled from the conference before facing liquidation. Shortly afterwards, today's club, Farnborough FC, were formed. In 2012, the club found themselves put into administration once again due to financial issues and they were moved down several leagues. However, over the past few years, they've worked themselves back up the pyramid and now find themselves in the National League South. Farnborough play here at Cherrywood Road Stadium. The old club moved bin back in the 70s and the new club continued to play here after formation. The ground has a capacity of 7,000 people and contains 1,927 seats. The record attendance here was 4,267, which was achieved when taking on Ebsley in a 2011 playoff game. Farnborough's club shop contains lots of the usual merchandise such as jackets, scarves and shirts. However, they also have one of the largest collections of programmes I've ever seen. Old ones, new ones, there was even some sets of Arsenal programmes from every single game of the season. The lady working in the shop told me that most of them had been donated. In the well-decorated clubhouse, there was a dance floor and multiple TVs showing sports. Okay, so as always, we got some food. Two chips and two cheeseburgers with onions came to £13.40. Both of these things super fresh. Chips just came out of the fryer. You can probably see the steam coming from them. And that burger looks good as well. Cheese slightly melted and soggy onions. You've already had a bite of yours. What do you make of it? Okay, it's good, honest food. Good, honest yeah. food. That's what we like to hear. Let's tuck in. Today the club are taking on Braintree Town in the league. Both teams are aiming for the playoffs. Braintree in 6th place on 55 points with 33 games played and Farnborough in ninth with 48 points but only 29 games played. Today's game is a big opportunity for Farnborough to make a push up the table towards their playoff rivals. <laughs> The game started off and, as a whole, was very, very scrappy, end to end and the ball was constantly in the air. What you're seeing in this clip right now is pretty much what the whole game consisted of. In the 59th minute, the best chance of the game came round, with an awful back pass given right to Blair. However, once he got past the keeper and done the hard part, his shot hit the bar. But on the 80th minute mark, another Blair attack ended in a penalty. And Alfie Matthews stepped up and slotted the ball home. The game ended 1-0 to Braintree, all three points going home with the visitors. After the game, joining me is Spencer Day, manager of Farnborough FC. So you've been here since 2011. What has made you decide to stay at the club for so long? <laughs> That's a nice easy one to start. Hey, look, the club was in financial turmoil. So I think, as, as was proven, the club was about £3 million in debt. So we had to keep the club alive, had to restructure it. And, and as the football manager, which I you know, became solely after about two years, it was my job to work off an almost non-existent budget and keep the team in good levels. We had to take a, a footballing relegation, uh, so it wasn't on the pitch. We got promotion, got promotion again. 
and obviously we're in a, we're in a very good place, uh, albeit after today. So uh, it, it's been it's been tough in football management. You have to strike while the iron's hot. I had a couple of options to leave in the first sort of 18 months while I was here, and maybe I'll end up regretting that. But you know, then when you're fighting battles and you've got literally no budget and you're competing against people with you know vastly more resources, it's it's just about survival. And we're proud of the fact the club, the state that the club's in, it's debt free. Uh, we're fighting hard in the division. We we don't have the right really to be in resources wise, but you know, and we'll move forward and see what happens. And how hard did you find it and what experience did you gain whilst being down in the lower leagues and having to work your way back up with Farnborough? Well obviously this is my twenty fourth year, so you know, it's a lot a lot of experience, a lot of contacts. I think football at this level is predominantly about money. As you will see at the league table, the teams with the biggest budgets are at the top and sadly the teams with the lowest are at the bottom. And all we try and do is try and beat those notches. So I think it's fair to say when we got promoted from step four, that first year we were in there, I think we were in the top two or three budgets. We finished second and we won the playoffs. I think that's a par performance almost, as much as any promotion is difficult to achieve. You know, at the moment we're certainly right at the bottom of that level of... Uh, of resources in this division against some teams that are even full time and certainly hybrid um, and we're competing very very well and it's about steady growth you know so at the end of the day things are going well it's been tough the, cl the club's been restructured and you just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow and when you did join the club initially did you have any aims or objectives and if so have you met them yet of course truth um, well when I joined I was told a completely different story so that's a long, long question to answer. So absolutely not what I thought I was getting myself into. I should have learned my lesson from before. Uh, so no, it, it very quickly unravelled within the space of a, a couple of months to substantial debt, which as I said was proved in a in a uh, administration. So no, it was nothing I expected. Um, I've sort of got stuck into it. There's a lot of lovely people here, and you know we're proud of the fact of how we've rebuilt the club on and off the pitch. We're extremely competitive on a very low budget. We're taking lads on loan for free. We don't pay them anything. And, and, and we're, we're in a fight for the playoffs. You know, we are in the fight for the playoffs. So, you know, that's massively overachieving. Uh, and, you know, it's a fantastic infrastructure, great fans and volunteers, and the club's trying to grow. And you see so many other clubs that have got huge debt around them um, and all types of, of drama. And I think we should try and embrace the positivity. We, we got promoted last year. We were Hampshire Cup winners. And I said the finance have been restructured, the ground's fantastic, the volunteers are amazing. So we've got a lot of things to be grateful for in a very difficult time. And of course it was a loss today, but as you say, you still are in this uh, playoff battle. You've got a, two or three games in hand of those teams around you. How important do you think they're going to be in this race? Well, you'd always rather take points than games in hand. So we've got a small squad and, you know, it's going to be tough. With The, the next five games are literally the top five sides, you know, resources and league positions. So nothing better than the team that's going to win the league by a canter, which is absolutely full time. And congratulations to them. We're just all jealous. It's amazing we're playing them with greatest respect to the clubs we played last year. So we've got a chance. It's, it's, it's a slim chance. It's made worse by today. And I think we didn't deserve really to lose today. I think that should have been a draw. But it is what it is. We've got to play relentlessly. We need some luck. We need to keep away from injuries, suspensions, these illnesses. Uh, and today we didn't get much luck. You know, and again, we're talking about this, a particular referee today, which is disappointing. And I think the league needs to look at that. And quite frankly, I don't like talking about referees, but I don't think he should be appointed to us for the rest of the season. I think it's just wrong. Uh, we've had him too much and every game he's, he's being talked about. But look, he's fronted it up in the dressing room. Um, it's another game. We're playing again in what three, four days' time. And we have to pick ourselves up again against the team that will, will be champions. Well, that is the end of my day here in Farnborough. Of course, the game ended 1-0 to Braintree. It was a very scrappy game from minute one to minute 90. The ball for over half of the time, honestly, was up in the air. And I know you do see that a lot more often uh, down in non-league, but today it just seemed to be a bit out of control. However, at times, especially in the second half, you can see that Farnborough do have the capabilities to be a good footballing side when they keep it on the floor and when they're playing football, not volleyball. Uh, but unfortunately, against another uh, sort of scrappy team in Braintree, uh, who are also fighting for the playoffs, it was always going to be a close game and they just edged it with that penalty. Whether it was a penalty or not, I'm not sure. Spencer, as you just heard, doesn't think it was. It looks at the replay, it might have been, might have not been. But of course with football, it always goes down to them fine margins and that was another one that decided the game today. But also, as Spencer says, uh, 
you know, the team still are in the playoff battle now, especially, uh, which, is, which is good because they got one of the smaller budgets in the league. Uh, they've got them two or three games in hand of everyone else. And yes, they do have a tough run of games coming up now, but I believe once they've got through them, if they can start to pick up form again, then they'll be very, very good to go. And uh, hopefully they can make that playoff uh, you know, semi-finals and finals by the end of the season. Thank you very much to Dom for arranging the interview here. We had a great time down in Farnborough. Make sure to get yourself down. I know there's a lot of competition in football around here. We saw Cove FC, Farnham FC we visited before, Aldershot FC in the National League, all within about 20, 30 minutes of each other around here. Um, but still a great crowd of 600 plus down here at Cherrywood Road Stadium today. And again, if you are in the area or if you're visiting, make sure to come down and watch a game too. If you did enjoy watching this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.